So I've got a project that I'm doing right now. Um, I received these from Oxbeam. Go try these. So these are the signals. Um, so they're an amber. And what I want to do is I want to replace these ones because I don't find them bright enough. So I'll show you how bright they are. I'll show you the difference between them. And I want to replace these. So I got those sent and then these ones. Um ah, I can't open with one hand. But these ones are the ones that I got for the bulbs. I'm hoping they will work for this. Let's try these first and see what happens. So when removing the headlights in these, you have a bolt here and a bolt here. And then right in there, all the way through, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's another bolt that you have to reach into. So, done these, there's a clip right in here. So what I found is using this piece here, just this piece of fabric or whatever, get it in there right where that thing is, and then just to pull. There we go. And then that pulls that piece out. So now with these lights, I snap this thing and they won't replace them. So I tried gluing it, it didn't work too well. So I'm going to try a different type of glue and see if that works. Um, but yeah, some of these companies are not the greatest. Um, when I reached out to them, they're like, oh yeah, we're all sold out, so. Got that set up. I do have another one somewhere. I don't know if this, oh, it does. I don't need to use the knife. So that's before, okay? Some of these bulbs, the reason I got these ones from Oxygen are that some of them actually um, will have a different flicker in them. So it'll act like they are actually off. Oh, that's way brighter. Let's see what it's like without just for driving now. So this is just the driving side of it. And I wanted to see what the difference would be. So it's a little bit more faded and subtle, but this is a little bit more vibrant. And that's kind of what I wanted. I don't know if you can see that difference though. There you can't. But let's try with signal light on. So there we go. That's how it looks like the signal. Well, I have hazards on, so. But it stands out a lot better. Okay. Now let's try the headlights. Now, headlights, same thing. Let's just take a look. I want to throw a bit more glue on that if I've got some. This. I have upside down, so let's try it. See if this I can get a bit more out of this. Okay, that's more white. 
light. That's what I want. Headlights. I haven't changed that amber light yet, but those are the headlights. Kind of got a yellowish tone to it, right? This is the new ones. It's a lot more white. And that's what I want. That whiteness. Because you can see the difference here. Exactly what I want to fix. <laughs> That's this part right here. So this part here slides into this. Oh, and it makes it like a little snapping noise. To yes. Like, so it connects. And so then this piece, big. and then this piece here goes into here and bolts in from the other side. So this piece here snaps into there. Yeah. Okay. This bulb looks better than the other one. Look at the difference. So you can see the difference on this one, how it's all foggy. Uh, it looks like it's actually blown. But this one, you can see through. And you know what, maybe this one did blow, who knows? I can't see inside. So this is kind of like a plug and play light bulb. So here's the original, as you can see. These have little um, fans in them, and they have little canvases in them. So they don't overheat? So they don't overheat, and they don't flicker. So let's go install this one. Let's test this out. And make sure it works. Okay. Turn the lights on. Can you high beam it? You know how to do that? Pull the tray the lever towards you. Okay. And the high beam it back, the low beam. Did I do it hmm? Did I do it you did. I'm just trying to see where the. Are you on high again? Yeah. Turn it back to low.
this is how I drive. Lots of light on the road. Also, are from Oxbeam. 